Average Guy Air Guns here again, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Gamo Swarm Maxim in 22 caliber. Uh, first thing I want to say is thank or Happy Veterans Day. Thank you for everything you've done to all my fellow veterans. Um, I'm going to start my review with telling you what I didn't like about this gun, and then we'll go for the things that I did like. Uh, first thing is this scope. I did not like the scope. You can get good groups with it, it works just fine. I just would prefer something with an adjustable objective, maybe a mill dot reticle. Uh, this just has a duplex reticle. Second thing I didn't like about this gun is this Whisper Fusion technology. Um, I like to take it off to clean the barrel. Uh, it has a roll pin here and down here, and that's how we would take it off. It does, they don't make it easy to take it off to clean. Uh, Along the lines of cleaning, the manual tells you to break it over to clean it, but don't cock it. That's as far as it will break over until it hits spring tension, and you, there's no way you can uh, get to the barrel to clean it. So you do have to break it completely over, so just be careful with that. Uh, a lot of reviews have said this uh, magazine system is cheap, and it is, it's cheap plastic, but I've fired several hundred shots through this and I have yet to have a single issue with it. It does work. Uh, the magazine is cheap, but Marauder magazine is cheap and it works flawless. Um, the trigger. As it came from the factory, I did not like this trigger. Uh, first stage is light, comes up to a solid second stage, and then you pull and pull and pull, and you could never predict when the gun was gonna go off. It would just randomly go off. Adjusting it, the second stage adjustment does nothing. Well, on this rifle anyway, the second stage adjustment does nothing. So, but again, it is under a $200 gun, so scope and the trigger. The trigger is usable. Usable. I have shot in phenomenal groups with this gun. That would be about it, about what I don't like. Let's talk about what I do like with this gun. The trigger. Once you adjust all the first stage travel out of it, you come up against a just a single stage predictable break trigger. And the factory says it pulls that are just over two pounds. I would agree with that. It's not hard at all. And I enjoy it for single stage trigger. It's not match grade, but it works. It works well. I like how lightweight this gun is. It's not heavy by any means. The stock, although it's plastic, this seems to be a lot better made than the Maximus stock. Uh, it is comfortable to shoot. Can your shoulder fairly well. I wouldn't mind having the uh, cheek piece here a little higher so you can get a little bit better scope picture, more solid uh, when you're looking through the scope. Um, what else do I like about this? I am not a spring gun shooter. I had one brake barrel air rifle and I sold it. Um, I would never say classify myself as a spring gun or a gas spring or a brake barrel or an under lever type shooter. I started off with one of those, like I said, I had a, what was it, a Ruger Airhawk. That thing had a phenomenal trigger on it, by the way. Um, I could get decent groups out of it when I used heavy pellets, it was in 177 cal, but that was before I knew anything about the artillery hole. Um, this thing is accurate. It is very, very, very accurate. Especially with these Predator GTO pellets. Um, magazine, like I said, it, it's a cheap plastic, a rotary style magazine, and it just works. It, simple. It's a simple design, it just works. So I'm going to take pellet, I'm going to tell there's a picture on it, tells you exactly what to do, it's kind of hard to screw it up. Cut the pellet in, 
rotate it and you got to hold on hold on to the sides of it after you rotate it to keep the hole aligned once you get it all loaded up drop it in safety is on it's not hard to break I've shot and shot and I've shot close to 300 uh, pellets through this so far in the past two days and my shoulder feels just fine comes back nice click you can always tell when you have a new or uh, how many pellets you have right there take the safety off pull the trigger this is not the quietest gun but it is definitely backyard friendly um, it's not as quiet as any of the PCPs I have but your neighbors more than likely will not know that you're shooting. Uh, one of my big concerns about this gun was, what if I forget to count how many pellets are in it and I sh uh, air dry fire it? Well, if you look right here at the magazine, before you even cock it, it tells you how many pellets you have left. Get to that habit, I have one left. Trigger is nice after you adjust it. The stock, the ergonomics of it are nice. It's not that loud. Uh, the magazine works flawless. For under $200, you are getting one heck of a gun. Um, who would I recommend this gun to? I would recommend it to guys who want to hunt. Um, it is definitely a minute of squirrel out to 30 yards, and I'll show you pictures of a uh, 30 yard 10 shot group here in a minute with the Predator GTOs. Uh, guys who have a lower end brake barrel that want to step up to a more accurate brake barrel, this is definitely it. Oh, I would recommend this for guys who are into PCPs that want to break into the brake barrel world, but want something that's a little easier to shoot and that's accurate without dropping four or five six hundred dollars on an extremely accurate nice gun this would be it um, like i said this gun is extremely accurate um, i'm getting less than a quarter size group at 30 yards with it and it's not even fully broken in yet uh, 20 yards is just one ragged hole not much more i can say about it so uh, here are the pictures of uh, what I was shooting. This is the most accurate pellet that I tested. I consistently got 30 yard groups like this and I'm pretty impressed because the gun isn't fully broken in yet and I am not a Springer shooter. Time for some crony work. If you were like me and shot your old crony and need a new one, I highly recommend this Pro Crony DLX. It is awesome. Uh, with the app you can do this and as you can see with the uh, GTO pellets I am getting less than a 20 foot per second spread at around 18 foot pounds of energy. Here is a 30 shot group from the beginning of my testing before the rifle even had a chance to break in with 18 grain JSBs. Uh, I have a lot of them, so I use those instead of the GTOs, but you can still see right from the get-go, it's under a 20 foot per second spread. That will do it for my review of the Gamo Swarm Maxim in 22. I wish I had more time with this rifle, but the owner does want it back fairly quick, so I put together what I could in the time that I had it. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and as always, you can follow me on Facebook and see some behind-the-scenes stuff that I do around the house when I'm not getting in trouble. Uh, have a good one.